um, I'm going to do a macaroni cheese without cheese. What I'm going to use is a pasta instead of macaroni, which is pasta anyway. I've got some herbs and I'm going to do half tuna, half whisk tuna, sorry. But this is what I'm going to use, the cheese sauce. Instead of using cheese, you use the cheese sauce. Okay, so I'll show you what to do next. So I've cooked the pasta. What you do, you don't pour the water away, you use this water to make the sauce. Right, I'm going to show you how to do the sauce. The pasta's done. When you cook your pasta, don't get it too soft because it gets too sloshy. Leave it with a little bit of bite. Okay, this is what you'll do. Keep adding the, the, the sauce to the um, pasta. Keep going until it's nice and thick. Keep stirring it and then I'll come back to you and show you the end result. Right. Keep stirring it and see the thickness of the sauce. That's really nice. If it's, if it's too thick, just sweeten it with a little bit of water, but very carefully, do it very slowly. If it's too weak, just add some more sauce and keep stirring it until it gets to, the, um, to this um, thickness. Okay, now what we'll do, we'll put it in a baking tray. Okay, right, now I'm going to spoon it into the baking tray, but I'm going to keep some aside because um, I'm going to do some with some tuna. Well, that should be enough there, okay? Is that done? You spread that about. No cheese, this is just a sauce. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of herb on top. Okay, from the garden, I've got some rosemary. Just break it up. I've got some sage and I've got some coriander. So what I'll do, I'll just break it up very, very roughly. And just um, spread it about. Like that. You can add little pieces of chicken if you want. It's going to be cooked chicken or cooked meat or not lamb because lamb is too greasy. But a non-greasy um, meat would be okay in this. Sweet um, corns. Sweet corn vegetables. Peas. Any vegetables. Not too much. Just a little bit. Just to give it a bit of colour and a little bit of flavour. That's all. But not too much because then it gets too heavy. Okay. Now put it into the oven. As is in there, 180 for about half an hour. But I'll come back to you on the time on that. So I'll set it for half an hour, and then I'll come back to you on that. And then we'll do the tuna one. Okay, this is the other half of the um, cheese pasta. What I'm going to do, add the tuna. I'll do the tin. You don't need to cook the tuna, it's already cooked. And then you just stir it in very carefully. You don't do it too rough because you just smash it all up. Just very carefully turn it in so the tuna goes to the bottom and the pasta stays on the top. I mean, if you're doing the, the pasta with tuna, just pass some tuna, you can do it in a pot. But because I had to use half of it for just plain, I have to do it like this. Okay. And then we just put it in the oven with the other one. Same time, keep an eye on it. And when it's not too brown, because when it gets too brown, it gets too um, crispy. But I'll show you when it's done. Okay, that goes into the oven. into the oven, same time, 180, half an hour, it was 180, this is the tuna pasta with cheese, sauce, not cheese, and this is the plain pasta with cheese sauce and with some herbs.